In 1990, I became the editor of a science magazine. Suddenly, I was meeting all kinds of scientists and other people who were doing very unusual things, things that were very funny and things that were thought-provoking. And after meeting a lot of them, I kept thinking, nobody is ever going to know that these people did this. Nobody will even know these people were alive. That's wrong. Somebody should do something. And then I thought, well, we can do something small. We can have a little award ceremony for them. And that's where the Ig Nobel Prizes came from. It looks like a hybrid. The big roofs like that are more European. Oh! And those designs are more European, the, the um, diamond designs and things. Oh, really? Yeah. This feels like an old American farm, except for a big one, but except the buildings feel, look much more European than American. By the way, I looked up um, William Clark last night to learn a little more and discovered that in America he also founded an agricultural college that grew into a university that and that's where my father went to college It's a great honor to receive the Nobel Prize. We are now exploring some caves this time in Japan, and unfortunately could not attend the ceremony. In the study, we reported a sex reverse cave insects in which females have a penis. <laughs> Beautiful. This is, yeah, this is, this is like my dream of what a scientist's office is oh, really? supposed to be like. Yeah. Where do you keep your penises and vaginas? Um, maybe <laughs> if I may ask. <laughs> Next room. Okay. Yeah. This is just my office, so okay. I usually do my, yeah. just this work Very in nice. this room. Oh. 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 Aha! Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw nice you on TV, so I'm very happy to see you. Oh, nice well, to I'm happy to be here. <laughs> wow. This photo again is the specimen. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Here you can see the penis inside the Yeah, wow. <laughs> Male abdomen. And this is a semen produced by male, so uh -huh. male also produce quite a large of, amount yeah. of semen yeah. that corresponded, yeah, correspond to about 300 milliliter if scale up to human size. So <laughs> <laughs> you are the yeah, nice. second second person <laughs> in the world to see <laughs> the, this specimen. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Have you found this insect in other places, or only in that one cave? I know several caves, and there are four known species, and potentially one undescribed species. So mm -hmm. to, in total, five species are known. But yeah, all restricted to the quite small area of, of southeastern Brazil. And 
conversations with biologists mm -hmm. in other places, and they start talking about this, they get very excited. <laughs> where, where is this leading you? What, what questions are you now asking because you've seen this? Yeah, our goal is to understand the uh, uh, extreme uh, ultimate uh, power to produce this structure, and uh, we are now using the morphological morphology to understand the origin and evolution of this structure. I think maybe a lot of people who hear about this don't think about things mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so this, this really fits into the whole grand <laughs> picture of nature. Yeah. specimen of Sophoptera, the order, the Brazilian cave insect is classified, oh. and uh, this is probably the oldest specimen of this group uh, available in Japan, collected in very early. Good, good. I, I've, been a, I've been a great fan of Ig Nobel Prize for 10 years, so I was I, I've been always impressed by the very interesting idea or a very unusual experimental design to accomplish the research. Tobacco most of the things that win an Ig Nobel Prize are funny because they are so unexpected. They are so far outside most people's experience that the only healthy reaction immediately is to laugh. And I think that's, that's the essence of what happens in science. I think if there's laughter and there's science, that's a sign that maybe something very good is here. <laughs> this is really great. <laughs>
t r e m o r is one of the、uh, protozoa, single celled eukaryote. So, the, according to the、uh, modern analysis of the genetics, the, in the group of the protozoa,、uh, we found the wide variety,、uh, wide variety of the diversity of the genetic organization than we had expected. Ah, yes, here, this is、uh, <coughs> kind of so slightly. Yes. Ooh. Very good. The ones we put here. So then, a few hours later, this、uh, food pellet is covered by the body of slimers. Then, looks yellow like this. And what, is the, <clears throat> what is the biggest individual cell? Ah, at least、uh, larger than square meters. Published the small so picture book on the slime molds here. And this is some classifications of the, and the life cycles of、mm -hmm. slime molds. And yes, and some basic people who work in the ecology. So they have the intuitive understanding、mm -hmm. of these kind of things. But、uh, almost nobody tried to、uh, figure out. Exactly. How this is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So then we like to propose a simple mathematical model to represent this kind of things. So then、uh, I like this、uh, <laughs> nature of the organism. Kind of looks like, a, you know, a contemplative behavior of the、uh, Hamlet in a shape. <laughs> yeah. You know, to go、uh -huh. or not to go. So that is a question. <laughs> Our basic idea is that、uh, we may have the common base of the information processing throughout a wide range of phylogenetic trees. Yeah.、Uh, from simple amoeba to human being. Not so different. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And, and, nobody, can, can, and、mm. nobody can explain how any of it works. Yeah. 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 So then the, that's what we want to do in the future. Yeah. <laughs> in the future. Ig Nobel. There's a sort of yeah, family very, of scientists. Yeah, yeah. I'm very proud of all of the Ig Nobel Prize. Please live、yeah. a long life and keep working the whole time. Please. <laughs> Close. Close. <laughs> yeah. And to me, many of the winners are almost magical. That's why, that's a big part of why they were chosen. What they've done is so. Very surprising to anybody. So surprising it almost seems magical. At the ceremony, to me, that's the best part that you get, you get to see the, the real live human beings who did this. And now, today, I get to come to the laboratory of two of them and have these people themselves show me some of what they discovered. I'm in, I'm in paradise. <laughs> this, is, this is wonderful.